Hello everyone, welcome to another soap making video for Petricor Soap Company. Um, today we are making lemon poppy seed soap, uh, lemon poppy seed oat milk soap with our new oat milk recipe. Um, this is one of my favorite soaps to make um, just because lemon poppy seed loaf and muffins is one of my favorite things to eat. Um, so this kind of goes along with that. And it's a simple design, um, just a little bit of titanium dioxide and the essential oil blend and some poppy seeds. And, and that's it really, but I'm always a sucker for a really nice, simple, uh, clean looking soap. And this definitely falls into it. Um, this is just a small batch. So again, like an eight bar batch uh, because this was a uh, an order that is going to be um, cut into quarter size bars and given as gifts to care workers. So um, a very thoughtful customer, uh, their mother is in a care home and they wanted to um, give the people looking after their mother um, a really thoughtful gift this, uh, this holiday season. And I thought that was just wonderful. Um, my mom was a nurse for uh, most of her life. Um, she retired as a nurse. And um, yeah, so it, it means a lot for to be able to, to work on a project like this to give them something back. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping it puts some smiles on their faces. Um, so we have an essential oil blend uh, going into this soap. So it is just an essential oil soap. Um, so we've got some uh, lemon essential oil, some frankincense, which is my number one all-time favorite essential oil, and a little bit of cedar in it as well. And that just kind of gives you an overall really fresh lemon scent, nothing going into too sickly sweet like candy lemon, just brings it back to being a little bit more fresh. And I absolutely adore the scent of this one. The one thing about working with um, citrus essential oils is they tend to slow down your trace. So I am uh, blending quite a bit here. Um, Part of the reason for that is because I want to suspend the poppy seeds into the batter. And if your your soap batter is too thin, all the poppy seeds are going to sink to the bottom when it sits in the mold and you aren't going to have that nice speckled uh, poppy seed loaf look to your soap. So um, I'm blending it a little bit more than I normally would. Um, especially if I wanted to do swirls and stuff because I do want to uh, suspend those poppy seeds. And so there we go, just regular uh, poppy seeds. And you'll see when I put them in how nicely they just sit on top of the soap. That's what you're looking for. So I would say probably a medium certainly a medium trace at, at least before you want to add your poppy seeds. And I don't put a lot in because I don't want this to be a super exfoliating bar. Um, just gently exfoliating. It's more for the aesthetic of having the poppy seeds in there than actually being um, an exfoliating bar. I do make an exfoliating bar and there's three levels of exfoliation in there. This is Again, more just for the look of it than and actually exfoliating your skin. And I love the look of this batter. It really does look like something you could eat, but you definitely, definitely do not want to. <laughs> but just beautiful, creamy, a hint of yellow in there from the, the lemon essential oil. So in with our teeny tiny baby mold from Nurture Soap. So not too sure how your guys' sales have been going um, for Christmas this year. 
it's been retail sales have been extremely extremely slow for me um i think that just overall it's the holiday season's always hard and even more so right now because people are struggling with the cost of everything and um if you got to choose between feeding your family and uh buying a really awesome bar of soap i can't i can't fault you for choosing to feed your family a luxury or Items are a little bit hard to spend on, um, but I uh, I just don't want anyone to feel bad. You know, if you're also running a handmade business and you haven't been got had a lot of sales this this season, uh, you're definitely not alone. The people that you see, you know, on Instagram or YouTube, are talking about the billions of orders that they're printing out and sending out for Christmas. That's definitely uh, I don't think it's the norm. I think it's the exception to the rule, so don't don't get caught up in um, feeling bad or like you're a failure or or that you're not going to be able to make it if you haven't had uh, hundreds of orders come through for for the holiday season. Just know that everyone's having a hard time right now, and um, we just got to do what we can to get through it, and that's just the realities of of. Uh, owning a small business um, just a regular swoop top nice and smooth and creamy and then clean up the edges So I've got some of my Christmas baking planned out this year. Um, I don't know if you guys are bakers. If you if you have some favorite recipes for the holidays, definitely let me know. Um, I'm going to be making a gingerbread house this uh, year. I challenged my brother to a gingerbread house making competition. <laughs> so fingers crossed. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I gotta say though, I always make marshmallow squares for my wife, um, and every Christmas uh, Eve we make uh, pretzels, soft pretzels from scratch, which is sort of our Christmas tradition. No basis for that, just something that we decided to do because we we like it so much. But if you never made pretzels from scratch, definitely highly, highly recommend that they're delicious. Um, so going ahead and cutting the bar here, a funny story about this cut is uh, this is about a week after I first went to cut this bar because on the first cut I broke my soap cutter wire. Um, so, and I didn't have any backups, which do not recommend always have a backup wire for your soap cutter around. So this soap sat in the mold for a week and I normally demold after two days and I was so 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 stressed out that I wasn't going to be able to cut it that it was going to be too hard as you can see still cutting like a dream it wasn't too hard uh, it was it was soft enough to get through so I guess that's the one upside of having a softer recipe <clears throat> and I find when you this this recipe that I have that does not, has no palm oil in it definitely sets up um, softer than, than it, when I started out with the palm oil. So I, I'm not going to show you the process of cutting these down into half and then into quarter size bars, but um, I do first of all just cut them as regular size bars and then I go in and, and cut them again. But I hope that your guys' uh, holiday season is going to be a great one. We're probably going to have at least another video in before before Christmas comes around. I like to put one out every couple weeks. Um, even though the snow, soap making is slowing down a bit um, and I'll probably take a break in there as well which will be nice. And there's the finished product. Just beautiful simple creamy lemon poppy seed soap. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a great week, everyone. Take care.